Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. was shot and killed inside her home in East Charlotte. Now they say they think that one of her own sons fired the shots. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is at that house where the crime scene just came down. Uh, there are still some questions. This family has a lot of questions tonight, Ken. Yeah, a lot of questions, and I'm told by a family member that it was a son who came home this morning and made that awful discovery. His mother shot and killed. Now, CMPD isn't sharing a lot of information, but family members told us that person of interest is another son who came home here to stay with his mother. It happened at the home on Foxford Place with green shutters, the place where family members say Centavius McBride, a proud mother, raised four sons. Now, one of them is questioned question is unanswered. Why is this has happened? Raymond McBride says he needs answers. He told me his cousin did everything she could for her sons. She's a good mother. She's a dedicated mother. She loves all of her kids. We learned Santavius McBride had planned to take her mother to get a passport today for a mother-daughter cruise to Jamaica in December. Family members say McBride recently got a clerical job at Atrium Health and things were going well until this morning. Just say it. Just say it. They shot her while she was in her sleep. Family members say the son in question turned himself into police. They spent most of the day asking him questions. Raymond McBride was just one of a dozen family members who came to the crime scene looking for answers. It would mean a whole lot to get covered. It we'll never will bring her back. We'll never get over it. But God can give us some kind of comfort. He said they're trying to make sense of everything that happened. How this place where family grew up together turned into a crime scene with a victim and a person of interest who both call this home. And one family member told me that Centavius McBride's mother was really looking forward to this mother-daughter trip to Jamaica. Now, obviously, this is a difficult time for the entire family. Live in East Charlotte, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Our prayers for them, Ken. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.